Hi all the signs of the zodiac. I'm Pam, the lucky mermaid, psychic seer and modern mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for this mid-month psychic tarot update for June of 2022. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in this mid-month of June and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign will, and if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there, so you might want to check that out. So all that being said, now on to your mid-month psychic tarot update, and I'm starting with the sign of Aries. Hi Aries, the first card you have in your reading is Eight of Pentacles, and this is uh, the card of the apprentice, learning a new craft, learning a new skill, starting a new job, starting a new business, paying attention to craftsmanship and attention to detail, having focus on your work. Uh, the other signs that got this was, uh, so Aries and Aquarius for the mid-month of June got the Eight of Pentacles. It's like, I feel like uh, Aries are going to be adjusting things, focusing on things, fixing things, tweaking things, adjusting things. Uh, that's the energy here. You may have on your mind, you want to make things better. You want to improve things. This could be your work. This could be creative projects, artistic projects. This could be make things better in your job that you work for for somebody else. It could be make things better and improve things in your business. You may feel like you have to learn a whole new skill set or you would like to learn a new skill set or you recently learned a new skill set. And you may feel like you're trying to hold it together uh, in some way and that you have to push forward. So this could be, you know, you could be looking around at the world and saying, I, you know, I need to put the pedal to the metal. I need my finances. I need to build up my finances. Things are costing more. Uh, you may be under stress due to that. So you may feel like I got to step up my game here. I got to step up the work I'm doing or the money I make or the investments I make. Like, you may feel like there is a need to uh, accelerate your financial income in some way. You may be very watchful about how you are spending your money and the flow of money at this time. Uh, you may also be watching, I'm also, my guides are telling me, you may be watching like your spouse or significant other or other family members or you know, people close to you. Mostly it would be people that live with you or have joint finances with you uh, or that you are just very, very close to. I feel like you're watching their flow of money, their spending. What do they have coming in? What are they spending going out? You may feel like you want to make greater strides forward and Aries, you may feel like you want to push forward on your agenda. So if your agenda is to start a business or to upgrade or expand the business you have uh, or to get promoted at work or to get a new job that pays you more money or to change your investments in any way, you're going to feel motivated like you want to push forward and step up your game or accelerate in those areas. The card you have with it is the nine of rods and the nine of rods is being prepared and ready for battle. It could be getting your ducks in a row, getting organized. This could also indicate maybe you're suspicious of someone or something. The other card that got nine of rods is Gemini. So Aries and Gemini got this card for the mid-month of June. I feel like you're being cautious. You may be very cautious of your surroundings. You may be worried about your own property, uh, like your, your cars, your investments in like you may be worried about being hacked or having things stolen from you. You may be ultra concerned about your property. 
Uh, you may be extra protective of your property. And property doesn't just mean land and home and front yard and backyard. Property can also be um, like intellectual property. It can also be uh, like your personal items like cars, boats, jet skis, collectibles, antiques, jewelry, anything like that. You may be ultra like aware and protective of your property and property. Remember what I said, it can encompass a lot of things. Part of the thing here is Aries, you've trusted people in the past and they've burned you and this, uh, and they may have stolen from you. It could be that, uh, but it could be, you trusted them in other ways and they've burned you. So you may have a tendency to be suspicious but you could also be having a tendency to be suspicious and on guard now because, come on, let's face it, there's crime is accelerating at a huge rate now. And, uh, you know, people are getting desperate. So you may be watching news or watching things on the Internet or hearing what people are saying about crime. And you could be fearful that it's going to come to your property, your neighborhood, your town, state, city, province, country. You may want to make some breakthrough in something you're trying to sell. Uh, so if you had a house up for sale or some kind of valuable or property or personal items for sale, you may take them off the market, wait, and relist it. Because I get taking trying to sell something, taking it off the market, and then putting it back on the market. But what, what is that? Like I said, that could be encompassing personal items, personal property. You could be your home, could be land, uh, could be objects that you were selling on the internet. Uh, you know, that kind of thing comes up here. So I hope these messages made sense to you, and I hope they were of some help. So now on to the sign of Taurus. Hi, Taurus. The first card you have is the Hierophant or Hierophant, however you like to pronounce it. And this could be God or a high priest or pope giving you a blessing, could be also giving you a warning. This card could also indicate higher education or higher learning. You could be the teacher. You could be the student. This could, card could also symbolize uh, spirituality and religion could be uh, important to you right now. You know, I feel that Tauruses are selectively trying to go through things and disarm them and disconnect from them. You may be going through your personal possessions and want to sell things. You could be having yard sales uh, or selling things online. But I also get wanting to clear out and disconnect and disassociate from unhealthy friendships, unhealthy relationships, unhealthy habits. You must be brave and confront any adversity or any demons. Do not let people walk all over you. You need to be quite strong and stand up for yourself in mid-June and maybe going forward. It may not just apply to right now. I feel like uh, in some ways, Taurus, you've taken a lot of uh, nonsense from people and like where they've unloaded their burdens on you or... Uh, more like you've taken negative behaviors from people and had to cope with it and deal with it. And so this is why it's coming up like you need to stand strong. You need to stand up for yourself. Don't pe let people talk down to you. Don't let people push you around, manipulate you, bully you. Be very careful of what you eat as far as sugar goes. Uh, that could cause some problems for you. I also hear that you need to be cautious of sarca sarcastic comments. So be very careful if you are displaying sarcasm to friends or people you don't know or on the internet. You could get backlash from that because people may not get it. Uh, I feel like there's a high probability that people could misunderstand you. So if you're prone to sarcasm, you might... I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying, Taurus, for the best interests of you, you might want to tamper, you know, tamper that down a little bit. <laughs> Any sarcasm might be uh, best to, you know, not 
not let the sarcastic comments fly too much in June going into July. I feel like you're going to take a practical approach to doing things. I see Tauruses getting themselves on some kind of routine, schedule, or regimen. So the card you have with it is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is ruminating, going within, overanalyzing, pulling at straws, worryment, worrying about the past. You could be, um, there could be a blessing or some kind of opportunity that could come to you from the divine source. It could be unexpected. It could be out of the blue. But if you're too much ruminating and going in your head and analyzing stuff, you may miss it. So don't miss the opportunity that could be coming to you. You may feel like you're trying really hard to remember things. It could be things you learned long ago in school. It could be, uh, I, I don't know, what, for some reason, like trying hard to remember things comes up here strongly. You may be trying to get your facts straight. So if you have to do any court cases or write any, uh, you know, or if there's a, like any depositions or if you're trying to write a story or, you know, I don't know, maybe if your accounts, accounts are getting investigated by the IRS or accountants or bookkeepers need to know what did you spend this on? What was this bill for? What did you buy here or there? You may be racking your brain and trying to remember. Remembering things may come up strongly for you in the month of June going into July. I feel that some of you Tauruses that have applied for something finally get accepted. So this could be to adopt a child. This could be to get into a school program. This could be to join a club group or organization of some sort or to be uh, on a team. You and if there's uh, or to get a visa or a permit or a um, I'm trying to think of what that's called a, a work. Um, visa. I, I feel that you're going to, anything you could get accepted in, maybe even a job, you're, that is the opportunity or the blessing that's coming to many of you Tarses in June or going into July. I feel like you've kind of gotten fed up with other people and their behavior and their emotions and their emotionalism and their drama. I feel like Tarses have had a had enough of that and you may be feeling fed up with that in or if you're not like you're thinking that you're emo emoting over it analyzing it or thinking it that you're getting fed up with other people and their emotions that they could be unloading on you and dropping onto your lap and I did get the same kind of energy came up in the Hierophant so something very similar so I hope these messages were of help to you and I hope they made sense now on to the sign of Gemini. Hi, Gemini. The first card you have is Nine of Rods. This is a card that symbolizes getting your ducks in a row, getting organized. You could be getting prepared and ready for battle. You could be suspicious of someone or something. The other sign that got this was Aries. I feel like you're really watching how people are handling things. For some of you, right off the bat, I get like bosses, co-workers at work. Secondly, I get the second thing comes up as your neighbors. Uh, so you may be suspicious of your neighbors. You may not be liking how they're handling things or what they're doing or if they're putting things on your property line or taking things that don't belong to them that are actually yours. They could, uh, and at work, you could be like, you could see like the rumblings of something like why are people behaving badly? Is there going to be layoffs or what, you know, what turmoil or, or, uh, subterfuge is going on that you're like, your spidey senses are tingling and you're picking up on it from, like I said, bosses or coworkers. You may feel like there's people like throwing up smoke screens at you. 
where, uh, and again, this could be at work, this could be your neighbors, it could be happening in your family or friends, or it could be a, a loved one, I, like a significant other. I don't know who's doing it. I can just get, my guides are like thrown up, they're thrown up smoke screens. Now, you maybe you could be thrown up smoke screens, but I don't feel like that energy is the strongest. I feel like other people are doing it. I feel like it's a distraction. I feel like there's smoke screens because whoever this is wants you to focus elsewhere or to think about something else. They don't want you to notice something. It's like smoke screens so you don't pay attention or look that way or notice what they're up to. But see, your, your intelligence is too high. <laughs> so I feel like that's almost a waste of their energy because I feel like most of you Geminis can see through the smoke screens or, or it, it, it won't take you too long to pick it up that that's what's happening. So I don't feel like uh, any subterfuge or smoke screens that are trying to be put up so you don't notice something that's going on. I don't feel it, if it works, it's, if it works on you, it's not going to work very long. So the card you have that came up with it is the world. And the world is the planets in the heavens and the spirit guides around you conspiring to give you control. This could be you feel more empowered and more control, more in control. You could also feel the lack of control. I don't let the cards flip upside down, so it could be lack of control. Uh, this could also mean a karmic cycle is ending and a new karmic cycle is beginning for you or some other type of cycle. It doesn't always have to be karmic, but it could be a karmic cycle ending and a new one beginning. You may find out like you've got a lot on your plate because I get uh, Gemini's finding out that they've got a lot to do. Don't be surprised if you're a significant other or a boss uh, or it could even be coming from your kids, like give you a lot of, like kids can give you chores, even though you don't, may not think that's what they're doing. <laughs> they can give you chores. Uh, the, uh, but anyway, you may find that you have a lot on your plate. And I feel that many of you, this is coming from work or bosses. They could be loading you up with more chores, more work to do, but it could be coming from uh, you know, your significant other loading things up on you, like, I need you to fix this, and then I want you to do that, and then I need you to build this, and then I need you to take care of that. You know, that kind of thing could go on for you. I get the Geminis are going to feel sorry that they said yes to something. So be very, very careful if you make some kind of agreement to like, yeah, sure, I'll build that gazebo for you. Or, yeah, sure, I'll help you move. Or, yeah, sure, I'll take all the work from the person that's on vacation or on a leave of absence, and I'll stay later every day to do it. Be really careful before you say yes. You, it may be too late. You may have already agreed, <laughs> agreed to do it, and you're wishing you hadn't agreed to do it in, in mid-June. But if something comes up and you're like, yeah, I'm going to be the... I'm going to be the hero. I am, or I'm going to be real helpful. Be real careful of that because I feel you having regrets over saying yes. There may be a lot of things you have to study and analyze. There could be theories you need to study and analyze. You could be studying and analyzing work that you need to do for your business, work you need to do for your job. You could be studying and analyzing things that have to do with your, uh, like if you're in school or taking any kind of training or classes or programs of any sort. I feel in some ways, Gemini, you're like ready to march in and make uh, changes in your life. If you've been good, like floating in the boat for a while and like, hmm, letting it see where it takes me. I feel like some gears are turning here for Gemini and you may start to find yourself like, all right, I'm done of this, you know, like floating on this little raft in this sea uh, or in the bay. I'm a little tired of it now. Now it's time to push forward and have action. So don't be surprised if towards the end of June, you find that, and even in July, that you find that there's some things you want to make big changes and plow ahead with. So I hope this reading was of help to you, and I hope it made sense. 
Now on to the sign of Cancer. Hi, Cancer. The first card you have for the mid-month of June is the Three of Pentacles. And this is um, expanding your craft, expanding your skills, expanding your work, expanding your business, focusing on craftsmanship and attention to detail. Uh, you could be making more money. Uh, there could be, you know, a business expansion here. The other sign that got Three of Pentacles is Virgo. So for the mid-month of June, both Cancer and Virgo got the Three of Pentacles. For some of you, greater things are happening or bigger things or greater things are happening with your career or any type of building or work projects or creative projects you're working on. You may be very determined to see things come to fruition. So if you have any kind of creative projects, you may be, or at work, business work, or your own creativity, you may want to see it come to fruition now. You may be making a big push like you want it to be final, you want it to be completed, you want it to be done. And you may feel like you're going to be very mindful of your time. And I do get like the kind of like the perfectionist attitude around you. So you may be going through some kind of, um, I don't know that I want to say fixation, but I'll say mindset of wanting it, to, whatever you're doing to be perfect. If you have your own business, you may be thinking about how you can promote or sell whatever you're working on, your products, your services, your skills, or, uh, you know, what you're creating. And you may be very pragmatic and, in, and organized and thinking about doing everything step by step. You may be very careful about writing lists, making plans, mapping everything out, getting your ducks in a row, doing everything in an organized manner. You may also have some challenges where some people could be either creating distractions, obstructions, delays for you. Um, and they may, some may purposely be doing it, but some may not intentionally be doing it, but just you're having to deal with them and your interactions with them and what's going on with them. Uh, could you could find it like I'm seeing like a pesky fly, like, yeah, yeah, you're like, G -g -g get away. <laughs> That's what I see you doing. So you may get like either coworkers or your kids or other people could be creating like distractions and interference of what you're trying to complete, work on, and get done card you have with it is the Queen of Pentacles. This is an earth sign person, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. It could be you if you have a rising sign or a moon sign that's an earth sign, but it could be somebody else. This could be a person that's a distraction to you. I do get some of you. Remember when the people cards come up, it's going to be multiple people because <laughs> it's, I'm not just reading one cancer person here. Um, I do feel like this is somebody that is one of the people I mentioned in the three of pentacles card that could be causing some kind of, uh, d distraction for you, maybe disruption, distraction, they could be somebody that's like giving you a um, list of things to do. <laughs> they could be critical of what you're doing. They may be kind of like the buzzing around you and saying, you're not doing it right. Why are you doing it that way? They may be also somebody that could be asking you for your help in June, which is going to kind of throw off what's going on in the three of pentacles card. Like I, I feel for many of you, the queen of pentacles is somebody you're dealing with. That's trying to, that's trying your patience. This could be somebody that's also saying you need to step it up or you need to hurry up. You could, you could be exasperated by the queen of pentacles, by this earth sign person, or 
the this earth sign person could be frustrated and exasperated by you or you could both mutually be exasperated with each other i hate to say that but it is it's, i get it in both directions i feel like they're kind of fixated on their principles and their ideas and they may want you to subscribe to what their principles and ideas and beliefs are uh they may not agree with yours you may also feel, again, this is one of those messages because I can tell by the way my guides tell me it could go either way or you could both be feeling that way. I feel like, you know, you're going to be dealing with them, but I don't know that you're going to be so happy about it. You may be dealing with them grumpily. <laughs> is that a word? Grumpily? Well, I hope these messages were of help to you and I hope they made sense. Now on to the sign of Leo. Hi, Leo. The first card you have is Five of Cups. So Five of Cups indicates sadness, loss, and regret. But not all hope is lost because there's still two cups that are upright behind the person. This could also indicate you could have a problem with alcohol or drinking in some way. Or you could be dealing with somebody else that has a problem related to alcohol and drinking, but it doesn't always mean this. First and foremost, this card to me means uh, some kind of sadness, loss, and regret. You may feel like you've done too much work recently for um, and put forth a lot of effort that you may not feel was worth your time, energy, and effort. You may also be feeling like there's been some broken promises you're dealing with. Either you broke some promises to people and they're disappointed in you, or you feel that there are people that made some kind of promise or commitment or contract or agreement and they didn't keep it with you. It could go either way. You may feel a little isolated. You may be feeling, or if you're not isolated from people, you could be feeling cut off from certain people or from certain situations. Some of you may see some kind of loss of income uh, or an income stream is, uh, you know, draining away. Doesn't mean you can't get it back. Just looks like you may have some kind of, uh, it could be some loss of income here. You may feel like you're doing too much work and putting in too much time and too much effort for not enough money. That could be one of the, that's sort of been said twice here in similar ways. I really feel where Leo's spring back from all this and spring into action and spring into things for some of you it's going to be the month of September so I know that may be like September that's too far away well I don't know I, I'm not sure how long this has been going on so uh but it's when I see let me put it this way it's when I see your energy shift and change and you're like you know putting forth all you know springing back into action with that you know ferocious Leo uh manifesting and motivational energy. I see it being like cranked back up in September. So your energy may feel drained, tired, a little low, possibly for some of you over the next three months, June, July, August, you could feel that way. But for some reason, September lights a fire in you. The card you have with it is Eight of Swords. Sorry, it dropped on the floor. I had to pick it up. Eight of Swords, this is being trapped and bound to, to like, you could feel like you're in an emotional prison, like you're trapped and bound in some way, and you can't see how to get out of it. Although the solution may really be there. You may just not be seeing it at the moment. You may be able to get out of that easily. You may feel like you are going about your day or going about your work or going about doing things that you may feel like you're, uh, I don't know how to explain this, like doing it in the dark, like doing things blind, like you can't see things clearly. You may be also be uh, mystified about certain energies. You may be like, where's this energy coming from? 
It could be planetary energy. The eclipses of April, uh, at the end of April, the partial solar eclipse in Taurus of April 30th of 2022, and the full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio, May 15th and 16th of 2022, may be what is affecting you. I feel that you are going to do some soul searching and reevaluating about what you're doing, like where you are in life or what you're doing for your career or, or love life or living situation. You're going to be doing some reevaluation here. There's some things, Leo, you may feel like you're not sure that you want to continue on with anymore. Could be a marriage, could be a love relationship of, you know, a, a romantic relationship of some sort. It could be a career path, a job, or certain aspects of your job, or it could be a business you own or aspects of a business. You may feel like you're bound to something that you don't like anymore, or you're bound to something that you want to alter, change, upgrade, improve, fix. But you may feel like there's something tying you to the things you don't like to do. And it could be a sense of obligation. You could have a strong sense of obligation to something and you could feel trapped by that obligation and you haven't quite figured it out and ferreted it out yet what you can do to change things up. So I hope those messages were of help to you and I hope they made sense. So now on to the sign of Virgo. Hi, Virgo. The first card you have is judgment. And this is what do we think about a situation? How do we feel about it? What's the word? What's the proclamation? How are things going to go down and how does it affect everybody involved? You could be making some kind of an announcement of some sort also or tooting your horn about some accomplishment. You may be going through some kind of process where you're dealing with people. And for some of you, these people you're dealing with are your family. Uh, for some of you, it could be a process of people you're dealing with at some kind of board or committee you sit on or in some club group or organization, or it could be in uh, work. But family is what came up first. I feel like there's some things you need to tell them, some things you need to instruct them about things they need to do, things they need to take care of. You may be telling some family members or employees or coworkers or staff or whomever that there's some plans or projects or ideas you have that you feel he, these, these people, whoever these people are you're telling, need to now get on board with it. They need to get on board with your plans, your ideas, or certain schedules or regimens or things you want them to do. And it could be that there's something you're telling people where you're saying, I feel it's best you have all the information. That's what I hear my guides say. So where, where is that happening? Is that happening at work or is it happening to do with something personally going on with you? I don't know. Uh, it's a general reading for many, many, many Virgos that are going to listen to it. Sun, moon, or rising sign people. And I get that. So you're going to be, um, some of you, it's like certain things that are going on with you that you feel like family needs to know. You could be telling me you're going to quit your job and start a new career or quit your job and get a new job. You may be telling them, guess what? I got transferred. We have to move. You could be telling people like, hey, look, I in your family, like, I don't feel so good. I have some health challenges or problems. You guys are need to need to step it up and I'm going to need you to help me take care of certain things. Also, if you're any kind of team leader, uh, like you're in charge, like a supervisor, a manager, a team leader, and you have to tell people like, hey, look, this is going to be the new course of events. This is going to be the new game plan. Here's going to be the new strategy. This is going to be the new schedules. That also comes up here. So uh, you have to listen to this carefully, Virgo, because 
I don't know where it's coming to you, where it's going to make sense. So the card that came up with it is the Three of Pentacles and Cancer also got this card as well. And this is uh, expanding your business, expanding your craft, expanding your work. It could be getting promoted. It can be that you're focusing on craftsmanship and attention to detail. You could be gaining financial gains here as well. From like, th you know, things you create, you could be, you know, making financial gains from things you create. I feel that some of you Virgos are really starting to hone in on the problems, like troubleshooting things, like where things are rickety, things are shabby, things are broken, things need to be fixed. This could be in technology. It could be in computer systems. It could be with other systems, like within a business a business model or structure. It could also be structures or things in your home, hot water heaters, washers, dryers, uh, mechanical things. You're going to be honing in on what needs to be fixed, repaired, upgraded. You may feel in June and even in the next few months, like this is where you make, where you make your mark on the world where you show people your talents, your skills, and what you're made of. So you may be coming into a time period here, Virgo, where you're really feeling like I got to prove myself to the public, uh, to my clients and customers, to my bosses, managers, or supervisors, uh, maybe even prove to yourself. So you may be strongly motivated to make your mark on the world and to prove yourself in some way at this time. I feel like in some ways, Virgos are going to be managing a lot of things. You may be juggling a lot of balls in the air at this time. You may also want to take things further and expand things that you're doing. So if you have a business, you may feel like, I want to expand this business. I want to add more products and services, or I want to expand this business. I want to add an addition or you know, rent or buy a space that gives me more room uh, and expand or get another location. Like that kind of energy is here also. I, you're not the first sign I got something about September. I got September for Leo's in their reading. I'm also getting it here for you as to when you may feel like you have all these things in place and ready and completed you may feel that energy around the midpoint of September of 2022. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. Now on to the sign of Libra. And the first card you have Libra is the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles is a card that symbolizes financial abundance and blessings coming to you. This could be through an inheritance. This could be a gift of cash. It could be a raise, it could be a bonus, a commissions check, but it could also be something else of value coming to you. Believe it or not, I feel that Libras are going to start to see their money grow and expand, which you may say, like, really, with all this stuff going on right now, really, is it? But I don't know. I feel that some of you are going to see your money growing and expanding in mid-June and going forward. Some of you may want to take out a loan to uh, or borrow money from somewhere to pay down credit card debt or pay uh, something off or pay something back. Because I get some of you may, could even be uh, a loan to buy a house. You may feel like you've got the wind under your feet. Uh, that's how my guides put it, which is a little weird, but that you can breathe now. There's going to be a, a, a little bit of a, a reprieve, uh, a relief sense of feeling of relief in regard to your finances and money. Some of you are going to be holding down two jobs to improve your life and make it better financially speaking for some of you. Some of you are getting a raise or a promotion at your current job, which getting this extra money is going to be beneficial and helpful to you. Some of you are going to get some money back 
Now, this could be from money like you loaned somebody money. It could also be money that you're getting back from the government, maybe income taxes. I also get that some of you are getting some money back, and this could be from like insurance, like insurance payouts or any kind of disability, workman's compensation, or any kind of uh, child support, lawsuit settlements. Uh, that like somehow you're you're getting this money. Some of you are going to be willing to take on more jobs or more work to increase your money. So if you're not if you don't have two jobs now, you may take on another job uh, or take on more work at your job. Like if they give you the option to have more hours, stay later, get overtime, I feel that Libras will be doing that. Now the card you have with it, you got two aces here. Wow, that's pretty stunning, Libra. You have the Ace of Swords, which is truth being revealed, victory because truth is revealed. It can also indicate victory. Sometimes Ace of Swords can be love. It can be wisdom, knowledge, but I don't let the cards flip upside down. So it could also be the lack of wisdom or the lack of knowledge or the lack of truth. I feel that if you were looking for a specific job, you finally get hired. You get hired for something or you get promoted. But I get finally get that job you wanted. Getting hired is what comes up here first. You could be talking to somebody that I, I'm hearing, talking to somebody that gives you a leg up financially speaking. So you could be talking to one of your relatives and saying, you know, I want to get this property or I want to start this business and they could turn around and give you money. Or you could be talking to somebody. I get this strongly about networking. If you've talked to somebody uh, and they get the gist of what you know how to do and how good you are at your job, they may say, hey, I got a friend that need, that's looking for somebody that has all your criteria. Give them a call. They're going to hire you because I do get uh, victory through networking comes up here for some of you Libras. Some of you are going to have some kind of valuable insight that comes to you and you may find yourself uh, putting it down to paper. So you could be writing a novel, a self-help book, uh, a helpful blog, or some type of article. Uh, because I get you putting down like uh, it could be almost like a how-to book or a how-to blog or a how-to. You could even be doing it on video. Uh, it could, so it could be a script that you're going to read. But I, either way, I see you putting something down in writing that could be very successful for, for you. Pay attention to your dreams, Libra, because I feel like you're going to be getting valuable ideas insights and information and messages are going to be coming to you in your dreams. And please keep in mind, some of your dreams are going to be precognitive. So if you're prone to psychic ability, you may find that your future or somebody close to you's future is being foretold in your dreams. If you've been trying to get any kind of degree or you have to take any tests, exams, tests, or whatever, I feel like you're going to pass. The, so you'll have victory of passing something. Passing some kind of test also comes up here. So I hope those messages were of help to you, and I hope they made sense. Now on to the sign of Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. First card you have is the Hierophant or Hierophant, and the other sign that got this was Taurus. So the Hierophant is a card that symbolizes God or a high priest or pope giving you a blessing or giving you a warning. It could also indicate higher education or higher learning. You could be the teacher. You could be the student. This card can also be symbolic of something to do with religion and spirituality as well. Some of you will be learning some new craft or skill. What I'm hearing is learning some new skill that upgrades your craft. That's how I heard it. You may be very mm, desired, desiring to sh prove yourself to people, 
to show people what you know how to do, show people your skills. You may have a strong desire to show people this in June. You may be talking to some people that actually upgrade you to a more powerful uh, position. And anything that had gotten off kilter for you or gotten off of track or off balance, I feel like you get it centered back on track and back in balance. And, you know, the caution here is to be careful of slipping into the doldrums, my guides say. So try not to feel gloomy like I'm seeing Eeyore. <laughs> try not to feel like Eeyore in your, uh, you know, in mid-June or going into July. You know, you're really, really going to perk up and brighten up in many, many ways when you get into October of 2022, which is interesting because for many of you, that's your birthday month. Uh, not all of you, but some of you uh, Scorpios are born in October. And uh, But either way, whether you are or you aren't born in October, I do get like your energy revitalizing and perking up. Interesting because I got for Leo, they were going to perk up in uh, and be highly motivated in September. For you, I'm hearing October, there's like you get out of some kind of depressive state or doldrums, you, you get more energized and excited and have a lot more things going for you energetically when you're in the month of October. I do feel like you're graduating, you're moving up. I feel like in many ways, I do feel like Scorpio is getting their power back. So I'm not sure why the caution was about the doldrums, but I just repeat to you what my guides tell me. So the card that came up with it is the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is a card that symbolizes being at peace and contentment with yourself and having financial stability and abundance behind you. I do feel in some ways, though, that you really are starting to really look good, feel, have more confidence, feel better about yourself, or, you know, you may feel like better about your appearance or feel better about your physical body. Um, I do pick up self-confidence here for Scorpios. Some of you could be ingesting some kind of powder that makes you feel better. So it could be like some kind of protein shake or drink or some kind of uh, powdered, you know, uh, vitamin or mineral that you're adding to juice or water to drink. And it's somehow like invigorating you, giving you, uh, making you feel like cleaner energy. It could even be a cleanse. My guides did not say a cleanse, but they said ingesting some powder that's going to make you feel better. Some of you may be redoing the front of your home or a building where you could be doing new siding or re-bricking your home or redecorating your home with new shutters, roofs, windows, doors. Because I see a front of a home or a building, you're like refacing it, redecorating it. Now, if you don't own your own home, that could be your face. <laughs> It could be your literal face, but I actually am seeing a home. So if you don't own your own home, it's something to do with redecorating yourself. But for many of you, you're putting a new face on your home. I, I see you very uh, fixated or focusing on matching like uh, the colors, like things to do with color being very important to you. Like maybe it's paint to shutter and door colors, or it's plants in your garden, very focused on colors. If it's yourself, you may be very keyed up on like, what are my best colors to wear? What's my best hair color? What's my best clothing color? You know, are you an aut autumn? Are you a winter? You know, you could be focusing on color schemes. I get you very focused on color schemes with yourself, color schemes with your home. That could even be interior. I, I keep seeing the front of your home, uh, like doors, shutters, windows, flowers, or your clothing and your hair, but it could also be redecorating inside and you could be concerned about the colors inside. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to the sign of Sagittarius. 
Hi, Sagittarius. The first card you have is the world, and this is the planets in the heavens and the spirit guides around you conspiring to give you more control. This could indicate a karmic cycle ending and a new karmic cycle beginning. You may feel like you have more control in the month of June, or it could be feeling the lack of control. I don't let the cards flip upside down, so we have to see what my guides say because you could feel the lack of control. You may feel like there's things going on around in your life like a whirling dervish. You may feel like woo, lots of activity, things spinning around you. Could be even in your mind. You may feel like there's a lot of things that you have to put your foot down about or like you have to get through. You know, you may be putting uh, childish thoughts and behaviors away from the past and feeling like you need to take charge, be more strong, step up to the plate. I'm not saying you haven't been. I'm saying this is what my guides are saying you may be thinking. I see Sagittarians getting very fixated on their ideas. You may be uh, very dogmatic or uh, like fixed on your ideas or a little bit stubborn at this time. I feel like you've watched a lot of people uh, make some bad choices and mistakes and that, or, or you could have felt like you, you made bad choices and mistakes, but you've learned from them. Whether it's watching other people, which is what I feel first, watching other people's pitfalls and mistakes, and you've learned from them that you, so you're not going to repeat them, but you've also learned from your own mistakes. If anybody comes along to you and says, hey, I want you to be in charge, or uh, like, I see you not shying away from a challenge. So if somebody is like, hey, I want you to lead this team or I want you to be in charge or I want you to step up to the plate and be a manager or a supervisor or a boss uh, or take charge in something happening in your life where you maybe shied away from it before, you were more passive about it. I see Sagittarians like you're going to be more in charge you're, um, and you're going to be motivated to do so. Uh, the other sign that got the world is Gemini. So you and Gemini got the world. And the card you have with it is the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is somebody lying to you, stealing from you, or deceiving you in some way. It, you know, if you, are, if you work at a job or if you have a business, there could be somebody that's going to have like kind of cutthroat behavior that could be kind of out to get you. This could be a coworker, um, or if it's a competitive business, uh, because I get like a competitor, uh, they may want to be out to get you. And if you're on any sports teams, that could also apply. You could also have people that are telling you false information to send you on a false trail to like mess you up. So be very careful of the information you're getting. Uh, like if you have coworkers telling you, oh, I heard the boss is going to do this or that, or the company's going to be sold, or they're going to institute a new policy, and or you're going to have to take over somebody else's job and you're not going to like what they're going to do, what you're going to have to do, or even if you're listening to things going on out in the world about, you know, from people in positions of power out in the world, you may be really very careful about listen, what you're listening to, because I do feel that Sagittarius, you're going to be hearing false information in mid-June or going into July. And I feel that your keen senses are going to be heightened and you're going to say, there's a lot of things wrong with this picture. So you're going to find yourself in a situation where you're like, yeah, this isn't right. Something's not right here. This, you know, uh, something's, something's not right. You're going to find, you're going to see it. You're going to notice it. You're going to feel it. Uh, you're going to be aware of it. So your, your intuition and your, and your senses are going to be heightened and you're going to be able to sense what's false. 
Be careful also of getting involved in anything like would be called a chain of gossip or the gossip mill. Be careful of that because there's also a lot of posturing and uh, false information that's coming from gossip you hear. I, and I feel like in some cases, uh, Sagittarius, people are doing it to you because they want to disarm you. They want to thwart your power. They want to rattle your cage. So, you know, learn to be like the duck. Let the water roll off your back. Take things with a grain of salt. Be very careful of what you're hearing being, being uh, proposed to you as fact. I'm seeing smoke and I'm seeing um, fog. It's either smoke or fog. And I don't know when Neptune goes retrograde. I'd have to look it up. I know it's coming up soon. Be very careful during Mercury, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Neptune in retrograde for you, because I feel like you are getting gaslighted, smoke screened, false information, gossip, uh, being misled, like that's coming up. Now, where is it going to happen to you? I don't know. For, first and foremost, I feel if you work at another business or company and you don't own your own business, that's number one where I feel like it's coming from. But it could be coming from your spouse, your significant other, your family members. I don't know. So just be very cautious of that. So I hope these messages were of help to you and I hope they made sense. Now on to the sign of Capricorn. Hi, Capricorn. So the first card you have is the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is three sisters, three females, three friends, help from friends. It could also be a party, a gathering, or a celebration. It could be a celebratory conclusion to something that's been going on in your life. You could be throwing the party. You could be attending a party. I do feel that some of you Capricorns are going to find that you're going to be meeting up with friends in June. It could be people you've known for a long time where you're reminiscing and you're going over old times. You, I, I get you have almost like a mystical or spiritual connection with these people, whether you're aware of it or not. And you could be coming together to make memories and make things happen. You could even get involved in learning a lot from them. You may even be taking a class with them. Some of you could be going on a trip with them, but I feel like uh, if it's a trip, it would be like a retreat of some sort where you're going to be learning something. Um, for some of you, this is uh, like... And you could be, you may have known them for a while because I get reminiscing comes up here. I, I do feel like you're going to feel like you have a good bond here. A good bond of a like brotherhood, sisterhood kind of bond comes up. And if you go on any kind of trip or to any event, you may be cherry picking what you want to do. So there could be things, or if you go on a retreat, where you can pick this activity or that activity. You can go here or you can go there. Like that kind of energy comes up here. So you may find yourself with uh, some friends gathering together. It could even be like at a fair or a festival or a retreat. Uh, or like maybe if you go to like... <clears throat> I don't live too terribly far away from Atlantic City. It's like 45 minutes from me. Um, you know, like you could be going to Atlantic City or a place like that where there's like casino or v Vegas or like there's shows to see and things to do and you're going to cherry pick what you want to do. Um, or if you're going to a place like where there's games of any kind, you may or events, events to see, people to see. Uh, seminars or lectures to attend, you're going to cherry pick with your, with these people, you know, of what you're going to attend. So the card you have with it, Capricorn is <clears throat> six of rods, which is victory after a battle. So you have 
Three of Cups and Six of Rods. Victory after a battle. Being victorious in some way. I feel that some of you Capricorns are going to feel like you're finally getting noticed and recognized for your talents or skills. Uh, you could be getting a promotion, a raise. This could also be if you applied any new jobs or new positions, you may feel like, you know, they may want to hire you because they're going to acknowledge your talents and skills. If you've done any kind of makeovers or bought yourself a new wardrobe or something new, you may be showing off your new duds, showing off your new clothes. It could also be if you purchased a new home, you could be having an open house and having a party and showing off your new home. Um, or if you started a channel um, on some video platform, you may be showing off your new channel or your work in some way. I feel like you're going to have a whole new ballpark of people that are going to be interested in hearing what you're saying and what you're doing. So if you are giving any seminars, lectures, uh, and teaching, any webinars, any videos you're putting out there on the internet, um, I get you having, or starting any new job of any sort, I get you having like a whole new audience. I see you leading the charge in any kind of projects of anything that you're working on or building. <clears throat> you may be the organizer. You may be the leader. You may be the one that's getting the, getting the, boat going, you know, you're the one launching the boat, launching the ship, uh, you'll be in charge or a leader or an organizer. And anything you do now between the end of July is going to be a real feather in your cap and will be a boon for you with your reputation, <clears throat> your integrity, your reputation, your personality, and maybe even your finances. You could have a lot of people being very appreciative of what you're saying, what you're doing, what you're teaching, what you're, you know, <clears throat> what you're saying, teaching, educating, what you're creating. You could have a lot of people like start to really acknowledge you, show appreciation for you, be thankful and grateful to you. Uh, and this is all like I keep seeing <clears throat> even though this Six of Rods card doesn't have a feather in their cap, they have a laurel wreath around their helmet, I keep seeing a feather sticking in your cap. So Capricorns are going to have a real feather in their cap, especially in any kind of um, elevation to your reputation and position and, in some cases, finances. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to good old Aquarius. Hi Aquarius, the first card you have is Eight of Pentacles and the other sign that got Eight of Pentacles is Aries. So Eight of Pentacles is the card of the apprentice, learning a new craft, learning a new skill, starting a new job, starting a new business, focusing on craftsmanship and attention to detail. I feel that Aquarians are going to feel like they have to put a lot of power and energy and focus and polish on what they're doing. This is either what you're creating, like for creative sense, like your interests, creative interests. But for many of you, this is on your work, your job that you have if you work for somebody else or your business that you own and the work you do for your business. You may start to see the flaws in the system of where you can fix and repair things and upgrade things. You may feel that some things need to be repeated. So you may go back to the past of things you created and worked on or did in the past in a creative sense or in a work sense, and you may want to bring it forward now in the mid month of June or in the next few months. So you could be reviving something you did in the past and bringing it back to life and doing it again or utilizing it again. And you're going to be very good about doing things and saying things with your own personal brand of panache and flair. I see you, 
you're really going to be good at expressing yourself, whether it's verbally or creatively or both. And I see Aquarians putting some effort into like looking into how can I make this better? How can I improve it? It could be about yourself. It could be about your physical body. It could be about your health. Uh, you may be looking into trying to improve things and make it better in your physical health or to your personal appearance. But again, it could also be at your work, at your job, at your business or what you're creating. I do feel that there's some good kind of financial gains or stream that seems to be amping up or coming to you in the month of August. You could see it sooner, but I feel like the fruits of your labors uh, and any past fruits of your labors, even from the past, not just from now, uh, will be like coming to you. You're going to feel like August looks like a good month for you financially. Even though we're in June, they're bringing up August. <clears throat> so the card you have with it is the Six of Swords, which is moving on to new and better. Uh, I'm sorry, moving from troubled shores to better shores. It could be literally moving your residence. It could be having a new commute for work. It could be long distance travel or traveling somewhere. <clears throat> you may seek knowledge or insight or information or teaching from somebody at a distance. Now, some of you Aquarians could be traveling to see this person, or you could be doing it online and through the internet. Some of you are be going to be doing a search of what else is out there. There could be something that you're doing that you feel like this could be improved. This could be better. It could be some type of professional that you're seeking. That could be a medical professional, a financial advisor or professional. It could also be people that uh, are purveyors that you could buy supplies, ingredients or equipment from. You may also be searching for new energy, new places where you could plant your flag of your business or uh, where you want to live. Like, because I see, I see you holding a flag and you're searching and you're like, where else can I plant this flag of you or your business or your creations or your energy? You're you're going to be doing a lot of seeking. Seeking is going to be strong for the Aquarians now. You may even be thinking about moving uh, or making time to vacation or do something at a distance and get out of where you're in. Like maybe you're going to be investigating. Like if I were to move, I may want to move here. So I want to go look at where that is to see, would I like it there? You know, that kind of thing. Planning your flag. Is it the flag of your business? Is it the flag of where you're going to live? Is it the flag of uh, also, but I, I totally get Aquarians searching for professionals or, you know, like purveyors or professionals that can help you. You may feel like maybe you want to have new doctors Maybe you don't like your doctor anymore or you have a financial advisors and you're not completely sold on them. So you want to get, see what else is out there. Or maybe you have an accountant or a bookkeeper and you're like, I don't know that I want to stick with them. So you could be searching for that. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to the sign of Pisces, dear Pisces. Hi Pisces. The first card you have is justice. So this could be dealing with court documents, legal papers, lawyers, the court systems, uh, judges, juries. This could also uh, indicate something that was once unfair and unjust in your life 
is now could become fair and just. And it doesn't necessarily mean it is legal. It could be justice served in another way. You may, there may be some things that you need to let go of, but I also get that there's some documents I feel that you're going to have to sign. And I feel like you may do some kind of investigation as to, and to be certain, or you should do some investigation to be certain before you sign your name on the dotted line for anything. Uh, any kind of contracts or negotiations of any sort, any new jobs, if they, you know, ask you to sign a contract or paperwork that you need to sign for any kind of training or education or schooling, um, or like I said, buying a home, if I already said that, or selling a home, make sure you are certain that you want to put your name on the dotted line before you do it. There could be a great deal of stress upon you where you may feel like you're under pressure to get something done, which could have to do with signing legal documents. If you find out that you've been taken for a ride by somebody who's somebody who's shystered you or, you know, stolen from you or lied to you or deceived you in some way, taking you for some kind of ride, you may pursue a legal case. Some of you may decide to do that. I feel like in some ways, Pisces, your feelings have gotten jumbled up and tangled up about uh, maybe your own wants and desires or how certain things are playing out in your life. You may have like some tangled up uh, emotions and feelings about that. You may also come across some kind of paperwork or document that needs to be refiled or resubmitted. There could also be some kind of end to a dispute about something. So if there's been any legal disputes, it may not go to court. Maybe you'll do it through mediation or settlement. Uh, but I get for some of you, Pisces, some dispute is settled. So the card that you have that came up with it is the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is an earth sign person, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. This could be you, Pisces, if you have a rising sign or a moon sign that is an earth sign. This person could really be capturing your attention. And you may really want to be very focused and listen to them. This could be a teacher, a mentor, a parent, a friend, an advisor, a professional of some sort that I, I don't know who it's going to be because it's a general reading. I just get like my guides are saying this person is going to capture your attention and you're going to be really focused and listening to them. You know, they could lead you down a rosy path. So don't believe, don't necessarily be so quick to believe everything that they're telling you. I feel like you're going to kind of like idolize this person or look up to them. And I feel that they are going to know it. You're going to feel like they're knowledgeable. They got a lot of going, a lot of going on for them. I feel like you're going to kind of look up to them and feel like they got a, their head on their shoulders, a good head on their shoulders, or like they know what they're talking about. That's what I, how I see you looking at the Knight of Pentacles. Be careful of your dealing with them because they could get you sucked into something. Now, I am not against people having religious beliefs at all. I'm not. But this could be somebody that tries to get you to get sucked, like tries to suck you into a religion maybe that you aren't part of or haven't believed in before or some kind of uh, Ponzi scheme or some kind of uh, belief system or, or program of, of some sort. Uh, so be very careful of that, of like anybody that seems like they're trying to get you to subscribe to something, believe in something, uh, get on board with them. 
maybe invest in their business or join their club group organization or get involved in some kind of, you know, get rich quick scheme. Like you, like, I feel that some of you need to be careful of the Knight of Pentacles. They could be prone to uh, addiction that you may or may not be aware of. They may be funny. They may have a caustic wit or some kind of charm that's kind of like mesmerizing to you. Uh, this could be somebody that's trying to draw you into a romantic relationship, but that's not really what's coming up to me the strongest. But I feel like if you get involved with the Knight of Pentacles, you could have some disrupted emotions or difficult times ahead. So now it's a general reading. You may go, oh, I know who the Knight of Pentacles is and I'm great. I'm great with them. And we're a tight, we're like, you know, thick as thieves. We get along great and all that. So I could, you know, I can't tell you if you're already friends with them. I just want you to be careful. I feel that the Knight of Pentacles could lead you astray or give you some kind of false hope or false promises or uh, get you entrenched or sucked into th something that could be uh, cause you mental or emotional distress or possibly financial distress. And you could end up having a legal issue with them later on. Although uh, that's not how it came up to me, but uh, meaning the strongest with the justice card, but just be careful. So I hope these messages were of help to you and I hope they made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos to YouTube. And please check and make sure you're still subscribed because I've had quite a few people write to me in private emails and in the comments sections that they are getting unsubscribed from my channel. So I don't know why that's happening. I'm not doing it. So please check and make sure and hit that notification bell. Some people say they're subscribed and not getting notified. So make sure you've clicked on that. So if you would like to get any of the special videos that I record for my Vimeo on demand pages, where I look at very specific topics using a variety of divination tools. You can get those videos by clicking on the most recent links are posted down below in the description box in the show more section beneath the videos. And they're also available. The links are also on my website at the luckymermaid.com videos page. There you can go to the, uh, the, that page and you can read all the video series I've recorded, what divination tools I've used, how long the predictions go out for. There's a written description there and you just click on the zodiac sign you want under the heading you want and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Now the most recent video series I've recorded, my mid-year psychic tarot update for 2022 is now available for each sign of the zodiac. And I want to say right here, this is my seven year anniversary this June of 2022. I've been on YouTube for seven years. So mwah, thank you so much for watching my videos and liking them and your kind comments. It, it means a lot to me and I do appreciate your watching and your support of my channel. So thank you, thank you so much. Also, my psychic crystal readings for the month of June, 2022, uh, for each sign of the zodiac, those are available. That link is also down below and on my website. It's kind of a continuation of the readings I do at the beginning of the month uh, of the psychic tarot readings I put on YouTube after I read you for your sign. I stop the reading and then I continue on looking into the crystal to give you additional messages and predictions from my guide. So you might really want to check out those, you know, monthly psychic crystal readings for your sign. The next video series that I have, that's the most recent is one of the most recent series is the full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio, May, 2022 psychic tarot, crystal and Oracle card readings. Those go out for six months in time and you are strongly being affected by those eclipse, that eclipse right now. Also, the solar eclipse in Taurus 
April 2022 Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle Card readings are also available. I did the exact same format for both of those Eclipse video series using, uh, and you know, tarot cards, oracle cards, crystal, pulled, I think I pulled a gemstone in there for you also to help you see what's the best gemstone for you to use for the eclipses. So if you haven't gotten them yet, I highly recommend it because all the signs of the zodiac, especially certain signs are getting really affected by those um, you know, uh, eclipses and you're, you might want to see what came up for you with that and watching your rising sign and your sun sign is advised if you can do that. Also my career and finance psychic tarot and crystal readings are available. Those readings go from April of 2022 out until the end of October of 2023. So you got a lot of time, 12 to 18 months there of predictions with those and my what's lucky and new for you in 2022 where I used uh, tarot and oracle cards in that in those readings and my big love readings for 2022 for singles and couples is available the first part of the reading is for the single people of your sign the second part of the reading is for the coupled people of your sign but i highly recommend watching the entire reading because there will be messages on both sides that will apply to you and i do that because you start out in a couple you could end up single by the end of the year or you could start out single and end up as a couple by the end of the year uh, my saturn and aquarius saturn and aquarius psychic tarot and crystal readings those predictions and messages went go from December of 2020 until the end of March of 2023. So if you haven't checked out Saturn and Aquarius, you're going through it. We're all going through it. You might want to check those readings out. Also, my psychic tarot readings for the new year of 2022, even though I'm did the mid-year update, those psychic tower readings for the new year apply for the entire year. I used the year ahead tarot layout, 14 cards in total, and the readings are going about 40 minutes long. If you would like to help support the readings I do here and make a donation to my channel, uh, that there is a donation link I have posted down below all the video series I have listed and it is connected to PayPal. A big thank you to those of you who have been so kind and generous and donated to my channel. It does mean a lot to me and it does help me a lot. So thank you so much for that. I do truly appreciate it. And if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you're not going to see here in a video on YouTube, you can follow me on my social media pages at the Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and the Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram. I pull tarot cards, oracle cards. Occasionally I look into my crystal and I write five paragraphs of messages and predictions that many people really like and they find they apply to them. So you may find that they apply to you too. I'd love to see you there. And please know if anybody ever contacts you and on social media and says, they're me, they're the lucky mermaid or they're Pam Georgell. And do you want a reading? It is a fraudulent account. It's fraud. Uh, they have misspelled something or added a dot. They like to add the dot after the underscore. That's the tricky thing. I have reported it repeatedly. This one particular uh, fraudulent account constantly is there. I don't know why Instagram doesn't take it down. I do not know why. So if, and many people, many people report it and, and block them, but it still keeps happening. So just know I only work from my very long wait list and my very long cancellations list to schedule private readings. I do not contact people that follow me on Instagram or Facebook to see if they want a reading. I do not do it. So if you get that contact, don't make a payment. Don't think it's me. It's not. So I hope all the signs of the Zodiac out there have an absolutely fantastic rest of the month of June 2022 and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.